gods. Uh, this talks of visiting the spirit world as a sort of survivalist camping adventure in bad weather. It serves as a warning that it won't always be peace and love on the other side. This was one of the first three or four songs I made for the project. I like the order change around one. I always dig uh, the Chuck, classical really done this hall. That's kind of what you were saying first to me. It's like, like he's like an old school producer. He does. He makes his beats all different ways, all different kinds and shit. He's not like hops oh, and he just pull up his just fucking beat making app. Yeah, it's on his computer. And, yeah, and, yeah. He's more like the chill hop producers and he's like blueprint. He's getting cds and sampling shit he's getting different instruments and organs and fucking yeah, around with them and then adding shit like, hey, in and yeah it's not just him making beats it's it's like the music community all together making beats and speak through his album yes you dark shit he dark shit you got it one op four remaining you believe yeah did you see athena on uh thing? God, he's <laughs> he can't do anything. Athena, get off the sink. Like, and Gauze is the one where it's like, wah, 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 wah. You know, whenever, he's got a bunch of songs on here with some nasty ass, uh, I don't even know what to call them, noises in there. <laughs> and I mean, it's that's just what like, he's yes. talking about? <laughs> but like, wah, and the beat breakdowns and shit, like, that's why I want to do an, an, a real album review to this, or the album of the year list which will be like a mini review these beats on some of these just it's not freaking fair dude <laughs> like I, like i said with the holy waterfalls gauze is one of those like it's the beat breakdown for either the, the start of the second or the third verse where it just all cuts out and it comes back with just the drums and the sample and builds back i mean it's just that's just like that's how you do it like that's just music 101 but like motherfuckers just don't do it. That's why when LP do it, everybody's like, ah, he's El Productive. Like he's not doing it too. Like beat switches and, and beat breakdowns and you rebuilds and shit. Thing. Like that's what top tier producers are supposed to do. And, and Ace Top just just is just not fair when he does it. It just sounds perfect. It just sounds absolute perfect. And there you know, like the, you uh, like you know how homeboys say you don't trust bar. a perfect song. The be perfect, you know, is ASAP. So maybe the lyrics is hard <laughs> as fuck to understand. So by definition, they're not perfect because it's not simplistic. Thus, still making it like so. It's, you know, it's that kind of shit. It's, well, you know, it, just, it doesn't. It comes together. I think anytime you start throwing in like the, the classical instruments, by default, you kind of have to reach a different level because if you're using something like that, that's something that's a uh, not typically. Myth, but I won't say that. Or what's the word I'm looking it's for? It's just not what's easy. Yeah. To, to make a beat that way. Yeah, you know when people th when. What do I say? Like I just rap, think of a lot of dudes <laughs> no like friends, oh, just but... like the hard drums, you know, like the booty booty bats, you know, type stuff. But it's a lot more than that, and it it can and should always be more. That's maybe you start bringing shit like that. Of course, it's what it becomes. It becomes a war. Just womp womp. Maybe bring gods. Womp 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 womp. You like that part at the end with the sample of the chick with the the knife in her for canteen and shit or something like that? Yeah. You was loving that? Yeah, because it was, it was some survival -ish shit. Like he said, he's out here trying to survive. Meet that gauze. Oh, Plus, you know, I, just, I got a camera. I yeah. personally just got done, uh, you know, There's no one in that uh, healing up clean one of my jars. after she was shot, you know? So it's you know, fresh in my mind. Yeah, it had to go. Gauze is important. It's, it's yeah, I literally had done. to make, make a fucking gauze bandage and shit. Because the spirit world guide would also be a survival guide in essence, too. What the fuck? Yeah, I got it. Trade off, trade off. Your turn. Alright, alright. Your Backside too. Careful. God damn in the back. Careful. They're dumping at me. <laughs> it's Jesus. Trash ass team alert. Let's go. Is coming <laughs> after this bitch and she still <laughs> manages to shoot me. Yeah. She kills me. Look at how many people are shooting you. <laughs> All directions. We were forced assault on her. Pizza Alley. Pizza Alley. A lot of this Alley. was written during a trip to Peru and pieced together when I got home. I hadn't written in a while, and I was generally unsure of what was next for me. The trip sort of reinvigorated me, as I had never really traveled anywhere that wasn't associated with playing a show. 
that early part of the song is mostly in uh, parentheses about the urban environments I experienced while the latter half is about the beat change uh, <laughs> after the beat change in oh, parentheses, also in parentheses talks awesome. about my time in the Amazon jungle that Brazilians are burning down just got that out there I think this was the first song I made for the record. You know, and something else I noticed, like I pointed out, is like, you know, he's he, tons, tons of animals. You know, you get a gringo reference. I, you know, <laughs> it's one of the funniest things ever. You hey, know, we talked about people first like Han Solo, so I mean, that time so much, you know, Greedo that. No, gringos. Like when he said oh, the gringos. The, the great little told the, the local told the gringo that dude lost like two people, two friends to the electric eels. Oh, the started the, yeah, the out, yeah, was, yeah. About. he had a gringos, yeah, not gritos. You getting kicked? <laughs> oh, All I know is after I listened to this song, I was like, damn, I really wish the fucking pizza now. <laughs> From an alley? What'd you think that in that beat switch though, man? Nasty, everybody loving it. We yeah, love this shit. I like a good beat switch. It ch changes the flavor a little bit. And then the beat switch up. <laughs> it's nasty. It hit hard. It sounds tough. That's tough. <laughs> <laughs> now we got the first song, I, or the second song that I was like, oh, yeah, this is going to be one I got to listen to. And I got stuck on oh. for a little bit. Uh, Crystal Sword. This is meant to sound like a spirit world journey page with notes and diagrams. Flood the harness, make a doodle of a strange flower. I looped this bass with the line with no additional instruments. It was going to attach it to an edit of a friend skateboarding. He saw it and was like, uh, you might want to save that bass line for yourself. I did. And, you know, what about uh, him like, saving shit for his boys? Like, thinking his boys, <laughs> like, hey, let me just run on your skateboard, man. Which, I like those kind of videos a lot. Behind you. You know, that the bar about with the final boss and telling the final boss his problems. Fuck. And then the final boss lets him through because he think he got through a tough life. And then Aesop, like, you know, appreciate you letting me through and shit. Here's a little weed. <laughs> oh, I thought my teammate was like, here's a little weed. And then Aesop, you know, at the end of the day, he's still a savage. He like, yeah, I went, I'm went, i over there. I gave him some weed, but I'm about to blow his galaxy into some of the rings. So, like, in the end, he got him. Like, like so he wants some other shit. Like, it's just some nasty-ass storytelling and shit no final bosses. Yeah, uh, man. A other parts in it. Like, that's just a huge standout. I'm sorry. That's, like, the bar scheme, biggest standout from the office. That no, little it was, because whenever you just talking about, cause, you know, it, I love this it. was also one of those songs where, like, yeah, you know, I could, it's, kind of, it's kind of a fight song. So, like, with that, uh, with one of the later albums, I said, it, I feel like it should be in Cyberpunk. But, I don't know, but I, I vibe with the heavy. This is was, this was the first song where I was like, oh... I'm gonna keep listening. I listen to it for like, like a couple days. It's a great one. It's another big. It's a standoff too. Yeah. Your country thanks you. To hell with the MIC. In a time of turmoil, knowledge is power. I ain't been around the world, but I've been. 